Finally. If only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. Pretty tasty. Yep, we can fix that new recipe with it. It'll be a breeze. Get in, get out. Well, we're on the home stretch now. Don't take your eyes off the prize. I'm quite aware without you reminding me. This could be useful. I think that might be what we were told to get, isn't it? What's this thing? Is this the so-called legendary instrument? Actually, I think it's one of the freight train parts that I was using for a sword. I'm sure anything will be fine. We should take it. I'm not so sure. How's this? I see. Great! Huh? <laughs> hmm? Agreed. Don't really. I can't believe you managed to shoo off that irritating bard. Had we brought him along, it would have livened up our journey considerably. You know, maybe you're right. We could have hit it off. Yeah, and the two of you could be irritating together. Winds outside the capital are blowing as strongly as ever. You can definitely see why people call this place the Valley of the Four Winds. Indeed. Mahagsar is the realm of wind, just as Ganeth Haros is for water. Earth, water, fire, wind, light, and darkness. Rena is aligned to darkness, leaving each realm one element each. Is that because some elements are easier to gather in certain areas than others? That is certainly possible. But I suspect the biggest reason is to prevent the Lords from squabbling over resources. Funny. You would think infighting would come naturally to an elite class vying for a crown. True, but the Renans rule as a minority. 
fighting ourselves would just be destructive. Though, as you saw in Menencia, any abstention from fighting is merely a facade. In the end, you all get usurped whether you like it or not. Hmm. That may be true, but something tells me that this time is different. We have to catch up to the Lord first if we want answers. Let's keep moving. What is that ring of rocks over there for? They don't look like they formed naturally to me. Oh yeah. Funny, I guess I've gotten used to weird rock formations. They didn't even register as being out of the ordinary. Most likely, they were brought over by us Renans when we first invaded the planet. Wait, those? So does that mean there's some kind of machine then? And if so, what in the world were they even used for? To manipulate the properties of Dana's astral energy. Really? Think about it. Isn't it strange that the type of energy each realm collects is so fixed? Astral energy by nature isn't meant to skew towards one element or another so heavily. So the Renans reformed it for the crown contest. Sounds like the crazy thing a Renan would do. Renans these days are more advanced than Danans in some ways, but even they don't seem capable of doing something on that grand a scale. Or is that something that's possible on Lenegas? Or maybe the Renan homeworld? I can't claim to know everything about my own kind, but I myself have never seen anything that would be capable of such a drastic feat. But at some point they did just that. Those are the sort of people we're up against. We should do our best not to forget that. You're so amazing, Kisara. You can cook, you can fix weapons. I feel like there's practically nothing you can't do. Maybe you should take a page out of her book and learn to make yourself more useful then. Hmm. I'd be happy to teach you if you want, Rinwell. I learned most everything I know from my brother. Really? Even how to sew and do laundry? Yes, indeed. He knew how to do anything. Sounds like he was a pretty handy guy when he was alive. He was. I'd always follow him around and badger him with questions. I was a real pain in the neck. Now that I think about it, he and Lagiel were the ones who taught me how to raise cats, too. Lagiel is that woman who was with him in the Gold Dust Cats, right? I remember now, the one with the really pretty hair. Funny you mention that. He also taught me how to maintain my hair. Not that those lessons stopped it from getting all tangled up during training. I think it still looks gorgeous. From what I can tell, it would appear as though the only thing he didn't manage to teach you was how to apply makeup. No, but that didn't stop him from trying. He really wanted to teach me everything. Only reason he couldn't was because I prioritized my training. And here I was trying to make a joke. I can't tell if she's being serious. The only one here who knows him well enough was her. Yeah, I guess only Megal could have told us if it's actually true. Alfin, have you been washing your clothes? It may not be my place to say this, but... Frankly, they're starting to stink. Now that you mention it, it has been a while since I did any laundry. I'll wash them for you if you want. Just remember to give them to me the next time you get changed. Oh, okay. Sure. Thanks, Kisara. And, Law, Rinwell, yours are starting to look a bit ragged. What do you expect? Of course they're going to tear up when we're out there fighting so much. Yeah, but it's still kind of embarrassing, having it pointed out like this. And Xion? I wouldn't touch me if I were you. Of course, my apologies. All I wanted to say was that your sleeves are getting a little bit dirty. You don't need to worry so much, Kisara. It's only natural our clothes are going to get a little dirty while we're traveling around. That's no excuse. Your outward appearance says a lot about your inner well-being. Now you've really set her off. Suffice to say, it would appear that the traditions of the Guard are still alive and well within her. What do you mean? What do the Guardsmen do that's so special? Mostly, I'm simply referring to the fact that they're a very... regimented and cleanly group of people. Do I really sound that weird to you guys? Keeping your clothes clean and mended is completely normal to me. Don't get us wrong. We appreciate the thought, Kisara. But we've got a long journey ahead. It wouldn't hurt to relax your standards, just a little. If you're sure. I wasn't trying to overdo it, I promise. However, if it's making the rest of you tense, I'll do my best to tone it down from here on out. 
Still, if everyone could bring their laundry and clothes they want fixed, that'd be great. I'll take care of it all for you guys tonight. Don't you ever get tired? You don't say. How? I see. Hey! Sure. Nice work. Oh? Very nice. Well? Yes! What? What? <sighs> I don't believe this! All right? No. Sure. Really, now? Yes! What? What? <laughs> well, that was a huge miscalculation. Yet you've drained your glass all the same. The Renan's ticket. An opponent like this should be easy. You Nothing gets by me. I'm on it. <laughs> I'm not done. Glacial Spear, here's the Evo! Climbing Scrub! I'm not done! Astral Energy! Say no more! Just 
Don't get complacent. One, Alfin. Yeah, there's more where that came from. Blazing sword, okay? A little water's not going to hurt it. On me? Well, I'll do my best. 